Hello and welcome to a, another episode of No. So we've got a ship leaving a port on a bearing of 140 degrees, sailing three kilometers. It's going along, is that our ships go? And then it's going to sail two kilometers on a bearing of 300. And we've got to find some things. So let's just figure out what these bearings mean. So we've got a bearing of 140 degrees. Let's see what that means. Now, bearings generally work like this. You've got north, we don't need to know if this is true or magnetic north, just we've got north, and bearings go clockwise round from there. Very confusing because we're so used to our x, y coordinates and starting at x and going anti-clockwise. So, just bear with me. Okay, so we've got here and we've got our 140. So this would be 90, that would be 90 degrees, so we're not going to get around to 180, so it must be round about there somewhere, that would be 140 degrees going clockwise, so our first bit, let's go radius to go, well it's going along that bearing and it's gone along for three kilometers. We're going to draw our diagram up here, but this is just to get our bearings. <laughs> all day. So let's see what happens with the next part. I'm going to draw another Cartesian or another, not Cartesian plane, but I'm going to put another one in here that's like a little compass and let's scroll down a little bit to say, okay, again that's north. If it's gone 300 degrees, 90, 180, 270, it must be up here somewhere. So it's going around and just a little bit there. That's 300 degrees. And let's put that one in this yellowy and say, so, so after that, wherever it was, it's going to go in that direction for two kilometers. So let's combine all of these things and draw our picture. So in our picture, we're starting at port, so let's call port P, and I'm just going to put the P over there, and say, well, we're going in a bearing of 140 degrees, so if we draw a little compass on top of this, and say that we must be going in this direction, let's just get it that direction, and we're going to go for three kilometers. Then we're going to get to here where the ship is going to turn. So hey, let's call this point down here T where it turns and it goes 300 degrees. We saw that if we draw something on top here, now most all, mostly you're going to get given the diagram, but we still need to make, make sense of the bearings. And it turns and then it goes for two kilometers and then it chills out over there and it goes cool the ship stops over there so this bit here was two kilometers and now we asked a few things find the distance and the bearing of the ship from the port so we need to figure out this last bit we need to figure out how far away it is what d is and we need to figure out the bearing from port, so we need to also figure out what this angle around here is. Those are the things we need to figure out. I'm going to leave that diagram there, and I'm going to make copies as we go, so we can keep track of our progress. So we've got that, and I'd really hope that I could make that a bit bigger, but no such luck. Oh well. So there's our picture. And I'm just going to quickly redraw this picture so it's a bit bigger. And we're back. Look at that. How was that? So we've got our diagram. Let's just reorient ourselves. We're going from port to where the ship turns. And then the ship is sitting over here. Oh, I'll put a two there. Apologies. That is a D, it's the distance we don't know. So we need to find this distance and we also are going to need to find 
this bearing so from port to the ship what that is there okay so having a look at our diagram we've got a triangle quite clearly well we added that third side because that was the distance we are given two sides of the triangle we're trying to find the third side of the triangle and we're not directly given these angles but clearly we need to find out what these angles are I'm going to give you some hints along the way. Some angles look like they're easy to find, not in the triangle, but more generally. So if this is 140, how big is that angle just from that line to there? Well, that must be 40 degrees, right? That bit there, um, because 140 plus 40 angles on a straight line. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you that you're only two steps away from finding out what this angle here is. Angle PTS. Got it yet? Here's next hint. Look at that line. Look at that line. Look at that line. Can you see where this is going? That line is just a north-south line. This is a north-south line, so they must be parallel. Okay, hopefully it's jumping out to say, well, that must be 40 degrees because of alternate angles. Now, we need to be writing these things down. So don't take this as, here's our final thing I'm, we're working through. So our first bit we'd have to say is, well, this is 40 degrees. How are we going to describe this? Maybe we can call this whole thing. Maybe we just call this point in the middle of nowhere, just call this A, that's T, this one here we can call B if we really want to, or we could call this T1, T2. So first of all, we could say that APT, APT equals 40 degrees, angles on straight line, that's how we got that 40. Then we're saying that this angle here is 40, BTB. BT, BTP is 40 degrees, but I don't want to focus all on this writing out because I know that you can write these things out. So this is alternate angles. I say that, then I write them just because I'm terrified that you get all the logic and then you don't write it out. Okay, so that's 40. Well, if that's 40, this bit's 300. We can get this last little bit. So PTS, PTS, well the whole thing's 360, that's 300, that's 40, we got 20 degrees left, and our reason is angles around a point or revolution. Okay. So now we've got this, now I'm going to put this in the diagram, remember, when we find something out, we've given all the reasons, that's 20 degrees. Now we can look at our triangle and say, well, that's great stuff. Our triangle has 20 degrees, 3, 2, side, angle, side. No area rule because we don't know the area. Sine rule, there's 20 degrees, doesn't have a partner. Cos rule it is. So cos rule will be able to find out what D is. Then 20 will have a partner, so you can use sine rule and sine rule will get you this angle in between here. So when we want to work out the whole angle around the outside, so we want to find out what this bearing is, well, we're just going to add this angle to the 140. So there's how we're going to finish it off, right? And the key parts of the question were, what were these bearings? And we had all the funds finding our bearings and bearing with me and all of those things. And that was 140, that was 300, drawing our diagram, drawing our diagram a bit better, and then finding out all the angles, then really just turning into a problem that you've solved before. You've solved this type of problem where you're given side, angle, side, and you find the opposite angle, you find the opposite side, you find this other angle using the sine rule, and the last bit of the puzzle is that you work this out. So I'm pretty sure you can pause or put this next bit on whatever or just come back to the PDF 
And I probably could have finished the question by now, but let's finish it off and I don't know if you'll watch the rest of the video. So I'm going to go cos rule. So I've got 20, I want to find D. So if I want D squared equals 2 times 3, 2 times 3, these are squared, one am I saying times, plus, let me just do it in one color, D squared equals 2 squared plus 3 squared minus 2 times those two things multiplied together, cos the angle in between them, 20 degrees, therefore d equals the square root of all of those things, so punch it in the calculator, and we get 1.3. Okay, to one decimal place. It is useful keeping that long one in your calculator, um, so that we can use it in the next part, but we're going to get some horrendous rounding off along the way, and that's fine. So we've got d, put it in the diagram, d equals 1.3. We've got 20, has got a partner across there, so I'm sure I can fit it in up here above my head. So we've got the next part of the puzzle, which is, um, what do we need to find? This angle up here. So that's, what do we call that? P for port. So we've got sine rule, sine P over... 2 equals sine 20 has got its friend across there over 1.3. I'm going to use this full value though myself and therefore times that by 2 and shift sign it and P then equals 31,4 and so there we go, 31,4. So then this angle here is 31,4. So that whole, that bearing is what it wanted. So the bearing, um, let's move it a bit out of the way here maybe. Bearing is 140 plus 31,4 gives us 171,4 degrees. So that's our bearing not just what's that angle in the triangle. Okay, so that's the idea behind these types of questions with elevation, um, I was called it declination, uh, angle of depression, bearings. Using the same knowledge, we basically just built up a triangle where we knew three things and therefore we could solve the rest of the triangle. So that is that and... Oh.